Hey everybody, um, the reason why I'm filming with fish tanks in the background is, well, because we had to bring two fish tanks up from downstairs, um, and the rest of the apartment is a mess because there's renos going on downstairs, so, yeah, that's why there's a fish tank behind my head at the moment. Anyway, that's beside the point. This video, um, while I'll admit is actually really quickly following the dresser video, which I posted yesterday. But since today there's a whole bunch of fish stuff going on and renos downstairs and all that jazz, I can't really do anything else in this apartment. Um, I can't really clean until everything gets tidied up and moved around and reorganized. So I decided I'd spend part of my day in the kitchen. Um, or the little kitchenette. I really can't call it a kitchen. It's a kitchenette. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, this is my under-the-counter special. I am going to do three videos, um, fingers crossed, on my under the counter. And I'll show you the reason why we're gonna do three videos, okay? Turn it around. This here, I'm not gonna open it just yet. I will though, is the pots and pans. This is where all my pots go, this is where all my bowl cooking bowls go, everything like that, and under there too. Um, so this is gonna be the first video, is I'm going to show you how I'm gonna organize the before and after fingers crossed that photo edit or that um, video edit will work but this is the pots and pans this is going to be the pots and pans special that's what this particular video is going to be the next video which uh, fingers crossed again I'll do tomorrow is going to be these two and this is kind of like one cupboard this is where all our cleaning supplies go we actually put our potatoes in here our watering cans all that and I'll show that before I do uh, like at the start of the next video and this one is going to be, this cupboard here, is our Tupperware cupboard. And as you can imagine, our Tupperwares um, are an absolute disaster. I mean, it seems to me that Tupperwares, pots and pans, and cleaning supplies are always the things that never stay organized. So my goal, uh, again, we'll see how it works. My goal is to organize it so that way it'll stay organized using some of the techniques that I've learned from other people on very 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 little money um the most i can foresee spending maybe a couple bucks type thing this is all stuff that you can just do and to organize okay so there's not really anything special about the way i'm gonna do it um i'm not gonna spend very much money if any on it so yeah anyway so i will now show you now not all the pots and pans are in these cupboards um some of them have been just washed. Others I've purposefully left out because of this video, and I just didn't want to cram it all in there. So, yeah. Um, first thing I'm going to show you, actually, though, is the drawer that's above that. It's kind of our junky drawer slash measuring cup slash everything else. We have, in this entire kitchenette, we have two drawers. That's it. Two. So one goes for silverware. The other has everything else. So you can imagine the mess it is. It's actually not that bad. So I'm just going to show you real quickly, just so you can see how I organize it, and then I'll get onto the pots and pans, okay? So, yeah, we keep our, like, our parchment paper, our tin foil. We actually have, to, I actually have to put my, uh, my, um, plastic wrap in here. We got our bags. This is kind of like the catch-all bowl. It used to be a, a, uh, square thing, but, uh, that went into my sock and underwear drawer. So, yeah. Anyway, this is a catch-all. That's from Do It On A Dime, as well as various other organizations. Good idea. We keep our, a lot of our spoons in here. This thing here for eggs, our twist ties, all sorts of stuff. And then we put all our measuring cups and funnels in here. It keeps it separate. It keeps it organized. And then everything else in the back is just stuff we rarely use. So, yeah. Anyway, on to pots and pans. So, I'm going to show you the befores. And then I'm going to organize it. And hopefully in the same video... Provided I can get an editor to work, will be the afters. So yeah, anyway, this is the befores. It is a mess in here, or warning. Yes, so before I kind of had the good idea getting these hooks. I've had these for a little while now, um, and they just hang up stuff. But the problem is the only thing out of these two things that we actually ever use, in fact, I don't think we've ever used this, ever, 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 ever. Now, my husband wants me to keep it. He's the one who does a lot of the cooking. Um, if I cook, it's grilled cheese, you know, tacos, stuff like that. Um, he does the actual cooking. So, he wants me to keep it, so that's why it's here. But I think I'm going to reorganize it. But in here, we have everything else. 
Now normally these are supposed to go under the stove, but we never can reach them. And we've got pots and pans in here that are all over the place. I think we got more tins back there, bowls, ceramics, stack of bowls that we can never get at. It's a mess in there. So yeah, that's that. And let's see if I can even open this. This is probably empty. Yeah, this is actually really empty because normally it has, we have one of these, only it takes up the entire width of the silly thing. So yeah, it's actually, it seems really empty, but usually it's really full. The only reason why it's really empty is because I washed it. So yeah, that's before. Hopefully I see you after. Hey everybody, so this is part two of the first video. Um, ignore the water running, you know, she's doing some filter stuff. Anyway, so I'm going to show you really quickly, since I took a while for the first one, show you really quickly what I've done to the pots and pans to make them more organized. So, believe it or not, I'm not going to talk long. Alright, turn around. And here we have the new cupboard. Now, this hook, right now empty, that is because Josh is using the big strainer that we have. I know there's an actual technical word for it, but I'm not sure what it is. Anyway, so that's actually it's what... It's a strainer. It's a strainer? It's not a colander or something like that? That might be cute, but I call it a strainer. Oh, okay. Well, it's a big strainer. Um, oh, so, yeah. That's supposed to go there. So, look at this. It's organized. It's clean. You can see when you look in. It's wonderful. So, I found a problem with this. Now, see all my bowls. The problem was we had that bowl. See that bowl? It doesn't fit in there. It's not supposed to go in there. But it was in there. That's why we couldn't get at it. So, now it's able to open. Oh, it's wonderful. These are all our, like, our deep square pans type thing. We've got like our meatloaf pan, glass pan, stuff like that, like right there. That doesn't fit in the other place. We've got all our muffin tins here. You just pull them out. Um, they work great. We have all of our nice pots here. Pans. We have three of them. Yes, I know. We have three of them. And we use all three. It's weird, yes. we got a kind of like an old pot. It's Josh's favorite, so we keep it. Um, we got our pie tins back here. I don't know if you can see that very well. Our pie tins are back there. That's this is the little doohickey thingy. Yeah, just ignore him. He's still working. Um, <laughs> this is our little yeah, the little thing that was on the door. That's what that is. And our glass tins. We have our big pots here. And yeah. Then again, just ignore him. In here we have all of our flat pans as well as our stuff. And the big one. Yes, the big one that I told you about. And we put our little one inside of it. So yeah, that's the whole thing. It opens closed quite nicely. So yeah, there you go. Have a nice day. Bye.